Hello friends, welcome to One and All Kids. We have a brand new series called Ready, Set, Move. We're gonna be learning about following Jesus. This week, we're hearing about a guy named Paul who met Jesus. Let's go. Hey everyone, we're singing the hippo song. In the beginning, God made the sea, and the forest filled with trees. He made the mountains up so high, the very top he placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere, just to show how much he cares. And in between, he has loads of fun. He made a hippo that weighs a ton. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made us. Bye, thanks for singing with me. Hey everyone, let's get up and worship Jesus. It's time for us to start with our first song called Never Be. How deep, how wide, how long is the love of Jesus? How big, how high, how strong is the love of Jesus? Jesus is my friend for life, and I know I would never be without him. I'll never be. Jesus is my friend for life, and I know I will never be without him. I'll never be, never be, never be, never, ever, ever be, never be without him. I'll never be, never be, never be, never, ever, ever be, never be without him. How deep, how wide, how long is the love? Jesus, how big, how high, how strong is the love of Jesus? Jesus is my friend for life, and I know I will never be without Him. I'll never be. Jesus is my friend for life, and I know I will never be without Him. I'll never be, never be. That is a really cool song. Our next song is fun too. Let's worship together with our song, Really Awesome Plan. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know they are good. I know they are blessed. The reason I love is because he said he's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. 
He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad, hey, when I am afraid. Awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Great job, friends. We have one more song at the end of service, but for now, it's time to grab your Bibles and grab a seat and get ready to learn with us. Hi friends, I'm Pastor Tyler, and I get to be here with our friend Otis. Hi everyone, I'm so excited about our new series. Same here. Our new series is called Ready, Set, Move. <gasps> oh, oh, that's great, I like to move. I hear that we're gonna be learning about Jesus being our friend. We are. All month long, we're learning that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. That's amazing. What is our true story from the Bible today, Pastor Tyler? I'll give you a hint. It has to do with colors like these. <gasps> Ooh, those are so bright. Yes, they are. We're going to play red light, green light. When it's green, you move and dance and jump all around. But when it's red, you stand very, very Still. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. All right, ready? Mm hmm Okay, here we go, let's play. Uh, red light. Oh, that's really, really still. Red light. Oh, good job, green light. Nice, green light again. Oh, good job, all right, red light. Green light, red light, green light, red, green, red, green, 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 green. All right, nice job, Otis. Yay! <laughs> Oh, that was fun. I like playing red light, green light with you. Let's call out Ollie to learn about how bright lights connect with our true Bible story. Ready? Here we I'm, go. I'm ready. Okay. On the count of three, everybody yell out, Ollie. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Ollie. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, hi friends. It's so good to see you on this beautiful day. I'm Justin the Mailman. I deliver mail to so many houses and to get to each house, I follow a map. See, this map helps me go here, there, and everywhere. That reminds me, today I'm going to tell you about Jesus. And when I tell you about Jesus, I think you're going to want to follow him here, there, and everywhere. Can you try that with me? here, there, and everywhere. Great job. Now, let me put the story mail in the mailbox. Now, on the count of three, say, ready, set, move, okay? One, two, three, ready, set, move. So our true story from the Bible begins with a man named Paul. Paul was not a friend of Jesus or anyone who was friends with Jesus. Paul would look for Jesus' friends and take them to jail. Oh no, that's not a good friend. But one day, that all changed. 
Paul was walking down a road to a city called Damascus. And all of a sudden, there was a bright light. Everyone say, that's so bright. That's so bright. Paul fell to his knees. Then he heard a voice ask, Paul, why don't you want to be my friend? Paul didn't know who was talking to him, so he asked, who are you? And who do you think it was? It was Jesus. Jesus was talking to Paul. Everyone say, wow, wow. Jesus told Paul to go into the city and wait to be told what to do. When Paul stood up and opened his eyes, he couldn't see anything. The people with him had to help Paul go to the city. When Paul got there, he waited to see what Jesus wanted him to do. When Paul met Jesus, Paul's life changed forever because now Paul knew that Jesus is alive. And we know that Jesus is alive too and that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Who wants to be your friend forever? <gasps> That's right. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Good job. Now let's see how much we can remember from our story today. Okay, we're gonna ask some questions and if any of you guys know the answers, shout them out. In our story today, we saw a man. Was his name Paul or was his name Trader Joe? Hmm. That's right, his name was Paul. He was really mean to Jesus' friends, but then one day, Something happened. Did he run into an elephant? Or did he a very, very bright light appear in front of him? Mm. A bright light appeared. Jesus talked to Paul and told him to go into the city and find some of Jesus' friends. When Paul stood up and opened his eyes, could he see even better than before? Or was he blind? That's right, he was blind. He couldn't see anything. Did some people help Paul into the city? Or did they just leave him on the road? That's right, Paul had some people help him get to the city where he waited for Jesus to tell him what to do next. Wow, that's so good. Thanks for answering all those questions. You guys all know your stuff. Who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever! My favorite way to remember that Jesus wants to be my friend forever is by saying our memory verse. It is from Matthew 4, 19. It says, Jesus said, come, follow me. Matthew 4, 19. Ooh, that was a fun verse. Can we say it all together? Great thinking, Otis. Say our verse with us on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus said, come follow me. Matthew 4, 19. Whoa, that was awesome. Great job, friends. Now it's time for our big pause. This is the time where we pause our bodies and our minds and think about who God is and what he does in our lives. Pause the video and take some time to think about this question. Why is Jesus the best friend ever? Answer this question with your friends around you when we pause. Okay, here comes the big pause in three, two, one. Big, big pause. pause. Oh, wow, nice job everyone. That was really fun. Yes, it was. Now we will close our time with prayer. You can pause the video and talk with your friends about prayer requests, or you can pray along with us. Hmm, that's a good idea. Prayer is just when we get to talk to God. It is fun to share with Him all the things that are going on in our lives. Let's close our eyes and pray together. Dear God, 
Thank you for teaching us that Jesus is alive and Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Help us stop and do what Jesus tells us to do like Paul did. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bye, friends. See you next time. Jesus wanted to be Paul's friend, and he wants to be our friend too. I'm thankful that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. One way I show that thankfulness is by giving my offering. When we give our offering, we are saying thank you to God for all that he does for us. If I have 10 elbow pads, I wanna give my very best ones back to God. We can do the same with our money. You can talk to your parents or leaders about giving your offering today. Now it's time to get up on our feet because it's worship time. Let's sing our last worship song together called Deep Cries Out.
I love worshiping and I can't wait to do it again next time. Don't forget to come back next week and invite some friends to come with you too. Until then, I wanna send you into the week with one hope, one life in Christ. Bye everyone.